I'm Daniel and in this video we are not going to talk about arcade controllers or arcade cabinets we are going to talk about a brand new project I've been working on and it's the whole thing behind me and it's based on this let me show you bum, 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 bum. and if you never heard of the DA10 Nano by Terasek or Terasek I'm not sure how to pronounce it uh, you are missing out on something. It's the Mr. FPGA project and you can Google that uh, later after you're done watching this video of course. And this is the small board it's all about. Let me get it in focus. And this small board is really amazing for gamers. Um, there is a whole community who's working on this and this board houses an FPGA, which stands for Field Programmable Gate Array. You can directly forget that, but what it's doing, it's not emulating software like we are used to in our arcade machines and on all the computers. It emulates hardware. So with a blink of an eye, um, uh, you will change this chipset in the original or semi-original chipset uh, of the Sega Genesis or the Nintendo Entertainment System or any old console or computer you want to, um, uh, to emulate. So this thing changes into the real thing, which gives us many, many, many possibilities. And for one, there is no input lag anymore. As you can remember, if you play Super Mario on the real um, console, like this one here, it's all so fast and so fluent and you can make those jumps. If you're doing it um, by emulating it on MAME or, or in hyperspin, you will have this lag and sometimes you will not uh, uh, get this jump right. With this thing, it's absolutely spot on. You can even use the original uh, uh, controllers uh, if you buy some accessories for it. So, um, a chipset that emulates hardware. You can buy some accessories for it, like this one. You can mount it on top. Let me show it to you. This uh, is the Mr. Expansion board. You can buy this uh, almost everywhere. It, it houses a serial port, some extra buttons, a SD card, um, uh, an extra SD card, um, a built-in fan, and you can also buy them with a VGA output. Uh, this is the second one I have. The, the other one is inside the uh, machine here. And um, so it's, it's really fun to buy this. You can also buy an USB hub like this one. It's also branded with the Mr. logo and you can buy some memory. And this memory, um, uh, uh, I think it's 512 megabytes. You need this to, uh, to be able to run uh, the, the 486 computer or the, the Neo Geo console correctly. So behind me, as you can see, is a, is a small old desk, a CRT monitor I bought on Craigslist for, for I think only 20 euros. I was really lucky uh, with this. Um, and uh, let, me, let me show you how it works. I have an, um, an 8 bit controller here. And uh, now we are playing. Sega Genesis, of course, but without any lag on a real CRT television with a real authentic sound. And this is also a thing. If you if you use an FPGA, you also have the correct sounds. It's not emulated. It's it's the real thing, the real deal. And it's a lot of fun. And as a matter of fact. I removed um, many of the consoles from my arcade wheel inside the huge arcade cabinet downstairs and all the emulators like Nintendo or Sega or Neo Geo um, I used to play here, I, I tend to play now on this CRT television and all the arcade stuff I play on the arcade machine but it's absolutely amazing and I use it a lot more now. 
I will show you, I will turn the system off like this and I will show you how the whole thing works. So here you can see this desk which looks like an old 70s desk but it's not. It's made in 2021 but I wanted to give this whole uh, retro uh, gaming, uh, how do you say, uh, setup uh, some little extra. So this is the desk. It's completely hollow. You can see all the electronics uh, that uh, that is hidden behind this uh, fake drawer. Let me get it in. And here, uh, I will show you later in more detail, are some uh, some buttons, some USB ports. There's a cooling fan inside. At the back, I have some some extra uh, USB ports uh, as well. And there is a Samsung frame uh, television attached to the wall. So um, if we are going to use the uh, PC, um, the 80, uh, 486 PC uh, emulator, which is inside the Mr. FPGA project, or if we are going to emulate anything that does not work with a CRT TV, we can use the Samsung. So I show you, I will turn on the system. And now we are in the main menu, like this. I can use the controller or I can use the, oh, I need to turn it on of course. Yeah, now you can use the controller and I will run you quickly uh, through all the consoles that are installed on this system. So here we have uh, um, the Genesis Mega CD Neo Geo which is also a lot of fun. I installed the complete Neo Geo library. And here we are. And now we can press this button here and then we can load ROM set. And now there are so many games installed. Let's see what we got. Metal Slug, I showed you in another video already. Uh, what is the other cool game? Shock Troopers, that's a nice game. Where is it? Shock Troopers. I need to play this more. It's really difficult, but a lot of fun. And even the sounds are better. Let me turn the sound up a little bit. Let's go for easy. Now we are, let me find the general route. Playing Shock Troopers the old way on a real CRT monitor. thing we can do, let me go to computers, is emulate all the original old computers. And you can see uh, uh, the, the Apple uh, computer, this is the uh, 486 computer. I grew up with the, well actually the 286, uh, the 386 and later the 486, which is uh, uh, begin 80s. Uh, all these systems are completely hardware emulated. So let's go to the 486 computer. And you cannot use this on a CRT television. You need a VGA monitor. And that's why I have this Samsung frame. So let me turn off the CRT monitor and turn on the Samsung television. And now you can see we have a wonderful MS-DOS screen. And uh, we are in, uh, in, in DOS launcher. And here you can see all this, this wonderful stuff like the King's Quest collection, King's Quest 5. I have the real box here. Uh, as you can see with all the booklets, it's, it's amazing. This was a early 90s uh, game. Let me put it back. And you can play uh, all these uh, dust games. Let me find Jacket Alliance. Since I, uh, I finished this project, 
I, I tend to play Jupiter Alliance a lot, which is a great game. Let me see. Now it will ask me if I want a Sound Blaster or I want the MT32 uh, Roland MIDI device. So let's go for Sound Blaster. And there we go. Oh, let me turn the volume up. How fun is this? Continue last day in progress, for sure. Let's wait a little bit. I'm not sure what my last day in progress was. It was a bad day. Da. Pressure, pressure. So as you can see, it's uh, really cool to do. And um, we are not using a DAS box or, or anything uh, like that. We are just really playing um, DAS games on a real, semi-real DAS computer. So the com the thing, the D810 Nano thinks that this is an 84, 8084 computer. There is a guy on YouTube that can that, that will help you with his videos. I think his name is Exo Flynn or or Flynn. Uh, I will put the link in the description um, for you, and you can install all these these great DAS uh, DAS games, and they they work wonderfully. Here, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, Last Crusade. These are great games. And King's Quest V, of course, uh, that's, well, all King's Quests, but King's Quest V is my, uh, my favorite. Let me go King's Quest I. Uh, speed, fast, oh, no, 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 normal, there we go, there we go, oh, oh, oh. Yes, like this. There we go. Look, rock. You see a large gray rock. Move, rock. Oh, it will be very difficult to move the rock from here. Let me go here. F3, move rock. This moving rock rolls downhill and you, unfortunately, are in the way. We at Shira with you thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed and hope you will far better next time. Good luck. <laughs> so this was it. I hope you liked the video. This was something totally different than you're used to. Uh, but I wanted to show you because in the next video I'm going to fully upgrade my own arcade machine with lots of new fun stuff and of course we are going to integrate a complete FPGA setup in Hyperspin um, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. So please like and subscribe, uh, subscribe to the channel then you will not miss a thing. Uh, I will try to respond uh, to you all, to all the um, uh, 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 comments and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!